for their 14th sold out performance at the Joyful Noise. Welcome Wendy Bagwell and the Sunlighter. Grandpa was a mighty man, stood six foot four, and he had hands that looked like a couple of Tennessee country hounds. And Grandpa was a man with pride. He tried not to cry when Grandma died, but I saw tears well up in the mighty man. Grandpa didn't panic much when his best mule died or there was trouble at church. He was always the one that seemed to keep his cool. But one thing drove the man insane and it scatter us kids like a hurricane is when company come and he couldn't find his teeth. He'd rave and rare and rant and spit nearly have a running fit. You got in his way, you hit. Hand it in the body of the name, Marty. <laughs> well, years passed by and he fell in love with a widow he called Turtle Dove. And us kids is glad cause we all liked her too. She is coming to eat with us one day and all of us kids is out to play. He called us in and said she'd be there sometime around noon. By 12 o'clock I heard him roar like a lion with his tail caught in the door. I knew right then he done lost them things again. We started looking high and low while my sister in the kitchen was mixing up dough. She hollered, here they are in the flyer bin. Raving, raving, ranting, spitting, nearly howling, running fit. You got in his way, you hit. Hey, I'll never forget when Grandpa died. All us kids just sat down and cried and waited for the funeral people to come and fix him up right. When they started to take Grandpa away, I heard my little brother say, Hey, wait a minute. Pa ain't got his teeth. Somebody hollered, What'll we do? Then somebody stumbled over Grandpa's shoe and them teeth just kind of tumbled out there on the floor. We stopped the men from the funeral place, put them teeth in Grandpa's face, and I'd almost swear I saw my Grandpa grin. Hey, 